Hello students, today we're going to be talking about physical and chemical changes. A physical change is when no new substance is formed. Okay, please remember that. That's the main part of what a physical change is. No new substance is formed. There are three main types of physical changes. One is a change in shape or a change in size. That if uh, something is just changing its shape or size, that just means it's a physical change. There's no new substance. For example, shredding paper. When you shred paper, the, the paper changes shape and size, uh, but it's still paper. <clears throat> a change in state of matter is a second example of a physical change. So going from solid to liquid or back and forth or to gas. Okay, uh, here we have an example of water boiling. Okay, uh, steam and liquid water are still water, but there's a difference in physical change here. So melting, freezing, boiling, evaporation, condensation are all examples of physical changes. Sublimation is a change that's a solid directly to a gas, such as in dry ice. Okay, um, we you skip the liquid phase and go directly to a gas, so that's called sublimation. And deposition is when you go uh, from a gas directly to a solid, like snowing. Okay, the clouds go directly to snow, uh, so that's an example of deposition. And those are also examples of physical change. The third type of physical change is a change in temperature. Okay. Uh, for example, this pot here is getting warmed up, okay? Its temperature is changing, but it's still made of the same exact substance that it was made when it was cold, all right? So a change in temperature is a physical change. Now let's go over chemical changes. Chemical change is when one or more new substance or substances are formed, okay? So again, the chemical change is when something new is formed. There are uh, five main types of, chem of, of signs that a chemical change has happened. Okay? First one is a release of energy. Um, usually release of energy indicates f uh, chemical change. There are three main releases of energy. They're releasing heat, okay, light, and or sound. If you think of fireworks, you definitely get all three of those. You, get, you probably don't feel the heat, but there is a lot of heat. Uh, re being released, uh, you definitely see the light and you definitely hear the color with the firework. Those are great examples of a uh, chemical change and the evidence of the release of energy. A color change, like leaves in the fall, okay, that are changing colors, um, that is an example uh, of a sign of a chemical change. Evolution of gas. For example, when you mix uh, vinegar and baking soda, you will get bubbles or fizz. Okay, So that is also a sign of a chemical change. Formation of a precipitate. Okay, A precipitate is a solid okay, that forms at the bottom of a solution. Okay, Sometimes it will form and be suspended, but then it will eventually sink okay, to the bottom. Um, so again, precipitate is a solid that is formed in solution. If you mix two liquids and suddenly you form a precipitate, that's a definite sign of a chemical uh, change. And finally, anything that has to do with fire okay, will indicate uh, chemical change. So the words burning, flammability or flammable, uh, combustion, combusting, um, all of those will be uh, indications that there's a chemical change going on. So just to recap, uh, physical change, no new substance is formed. And there are three main uh, types of physical changes. Chemical change is when a new substance is formed. And you know when a new substance is formed when you see one or more of these five signs. Release of energy, color, evolution of gas, precipitate, uh, or anything having to do with fire. That's it.